Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. I hope you're all doing well. It's been a bit of a while since I've shown my face on here or done a haul so I thought it's about time because I do actually have quite a few bags waiting for me to film. So today I have a Poundland haul as well as a small home bargains haul. Let's get straight in and I hope you enjoy. So the first thing I got are these clever tiles. I've seen quite a few people redoing their bathrooms and their houses with these and I just really love the blue colour. This isn't actually for doing my tiles or anything, that's why I've just got two. It, I just picked it up because I thought it's going to come in handy just for like some DIYs on my other channel which actually brings me to announce that I'm going to be starting some Poundland DIYs. I've had quite a few requests for it. So if you're interested you can head over to my DIY channel to see what I'm going to be doing and it's also pinned in the comments. So this was something else I brought for a creative idea. I think most of what I'm hauling is probably like 40 DIYs. I didn't actually know what this was, it's quite heavy and I had to check the label, it says it's a placemat. The next thing I brought, I actually got this last year because it's so cute, is this teddy bear. I really love the floral detail here and I think that they're just so well made. You know sometimes like you can get some cheap plush or like stuff from Poundland sometimes like the eyes are wonky they just hear it here there and everywhere but these just look at his little cute face he's perfect so I've got one for myself last year well actually it was meant to be for my mum but it was so cute that I decided to keep it instead so this year I've actually bought one for my mum I've just let one of my cats in so if you hear some crunching in the background they're just eating their dry food I finally picked one of these up it's been out for so long and I've been like no nah, I don't need it don't need it and then I was just like you know what I'm gonna get it let me know if you've used it and you know if it actually smells like you know sometimes things can smell cheap does it smell like real lavender and does it actually help you like feel calm and fall asleep I do have to say that I do tend to love things like this like diffusers, essential oils, sprays, things like that. And then I've picked up these cute carrots. I've actually got quite a few from last year, but I just didn't know how much I had because it's in my craft room and my craft room is a mess. So I've just bought a few more. You get six in a pack. Again, I'm really impressed with the quality. They always do remind me of what sits a little bit. They're quite orange and they've got like a little bit of dust at the bottom. The next things I've got are some essentials, you know I love my original sauce, especially this one, the mint and tea tree, I've got two of those. And then this was not picked up by me obviously because it's for men, Lynx Africa. I've actually been getting a lot of wrist pain and arm pain lately, I think that I'm overdoing it with just like repetitive movements using my phone because I do a lot of work on my phone. Uh, I do a lot of work on my phone, like editing, videos, crafting, uses my hands, so I've had to pick up quite a few of these things. This one here is a wrap, it's actually meant to be for your ankle, but I've been using it for my arm. So I picked two of those up, some of these as well, palm supports, I just think that they're really good, you know, the little medical section that they have in Poundland is... It's just good, you know, you could just go in there, pick up what you need, like paracetamol. And I love this, I really recommend it. It's so good for my skin, it doesn't irritate it, it's not too strong, it's not too rough on the skin. And I have like kind of sensitive skin and also combination skin, so this works really good. They've got like some £2 range ones and stuff, and this is just a pound. And I have tested the other ones, but this one is like the best, so you know can't go wrong it works really well and it's just a pound then i picked up some more of these this is like a new cat treat that they've got and they have two flavors only one of my cats like them it's quite thick in consistency and then i've got a few more crisps because we've run out of some flavors so i've got the salt and vinegar squares i really like them i know some people either love salt and vinegar or they hate them I just found out recently that my mum doesn't like salt and vinegar at all. I always thought like we're a salt and vinegar family, but she likes cheese and onion and ready salted. And this is another flavour I really love. I think they stopped doing them or something for some time because I just couldn't seem to find them. So I'm really glad that they've got them back in because we already finished the pack, so this is our second. I've had these out for quite a while now and I actually need quite a few because I'm starting to organise everything. This weather really just gets me into like wanting to clean. I guess that's why it's spring cleaning. But I've got these two baskets and they've got them in white as well and they've got different 
like shapes they've got like a round one and they've got some smaller like thinner ones so you don't have to have them this deep and i always think they're just so good for a pound i picked up some cat food whiskers and some of the tins these are actually 50p so you get two for a pound and then i've got some ketchup here I'm really excited to try this because I love drumsticks and I really love the scented antibacterial hand washes. I always go and pick up some batteries. I've got this one as well. I also get the triple A ones. They're really good for a pound but I also feel like they die really quick. So let me know if you guys have found that with the batteries as well. I also pick up the baby wipes from there. This one's got 120 in this pack. And then I've also got some cables. I picked up, I think, two or three of those. This is in the toy section and it's always there. I really like it for little miniature scenes and stuff like that. Like an Alice in Wonderland project, that's actually what I've got planned. So I might actually need a few more of those. I also picked up some of these paper doilies. They've got different sizes, you get 24 in a pack. I'm yet to try these soaps from Nivea, you get two. I usually pick up Original Source Shower Gel and a few other different soaps, but this time I thought I will go with Nivea. I'll definitely tell you, it smells so good. And that's all that I've got from Poundland, so let's move on to Home Bargains. So my first few things are hair products from Home Bargains because hair products are also one of my favourite things like skin products. So I got this spray, I've never tried it. If you have, let me know how you got on with it. It's got chocolate in there, so you know, your hair's going to smell amazing. I just kind of had to read what this is off camera because I actually had no clue when I put it in my basket. So this is a conditioning spray, so that's good because I love these conditioning sprays. And it says to spray it four to six times on your hair. So that's that. And then the next thing I've got, again, I haven't tried this out before. Pro Keratin. It's a mask, a hair mask. It says that it repairs dry damaged hair. Use once a week. So yeah, again, looking forward to this. I'm going to try one thing at a time because then I'm not going to know what's worked and what product I should maybe buy again. And then this is another hair product, a mask again. This one's got avocado in there. So this one isn't a leave-in mask. You apply it three to five minutes, you wash it out. And then I think this is the last hair product. This is a serum. It's really pink. I don't know if it's actually pink inside or if that's just a bottle. And then I got some of these. I think that these are really good. 79p. You've got different uh, designs and patterns to choose from. It's actually gift wrap, but I don't use it for that. I like to kind of line boxes and things like that just to make them look pretty. Sometimes like I turn cardboard into nice storage boxes and these work wonderfully. So this one here is a nice floral print, which if you know me, I love my florals. Here it is, I've got like a floral jumper on right now. And then this is another floral, but this one's really beautiful. I actually hauled one of these last time and it had a really nice marble design. I made a few things with that, I'll show you like a picture here, what I did with that. And then I got another original sauce, this one is huge. And it's coconut and sheer butter. They just smell so good, honestly. If you're looking for a cheaper alternative to like the Nando sauces, try these. They're in home bargains and I think b and um, I'm not too certain, but they've got different flavours. This is the lemon and herb, it's one that I tend to pick up, as well as the mild. They've got like heart as well, that's too spicy and I like my spices, but that tends to be a little bit too much. And then I've picked up some scissors because mine broke, like in the middle. So yeah, definitely needed another pair. I was surprised to see this in home bargains. And I think it was the stationery aisle, that was it, yeah. It was next to like the papers and stuff. It's basically a pad. If you're a crafter or a paper crafter, this was just $1.99, so an absolute bargain. Even the works don't sell it that cheap. And they've got quite a few nice designs in there to choose from. They're all like floral, very spring. There's 24 sheets in there. It's double-sided and I really feel annoyed when they're double-sided because if I cut one side, and I want the print off that. Sometimes you want the print, like, that's on the other side another time, but, like, you've used it all up. If you have some pets at the moment in Home Bargains, they have, like, a pet event going on. They've got some really good offers on, especially for, like, the bigger bundle packs. 
So I picked this up. I don't generally get gold cap for my cats. So I tend to get the Perina one, which I've got now. So yeah, it's a little bit squashed, but this is the other one that I get. I get the chicken and the salmon flavour, and it's the cheapest in home bargains. Then I've just got a few bits and bobs here. This is from Pound Stretcher. It was for the Valentine's range. I can't wait for spring to come out and all of the spring stuff. I'm waiting so badly for the Poundland range to come out, which I'm going to film as well. I know you're all waiting for it too. This was £1.29 from Pound Stretcher as well. And then they had these pretty flowers in and they've got them in different colours like purple, a light pink and a blue. So I've got this one here which is a darker pink and then I bought a lighter shade, so like a light pink. And this is how it looks, you've got, it's quite big. And I think it was, let me see if it's got the price here. No. I think it might have been a pound or just over a pound and then some essentials from there these are really good for your skin i use calamine lotion sometimes if you have like a spot and uh, this really helps dry it out and stop like itching or anything and witch hazel which i really love just to tone and cleanse i bought one thing from b m which are these eggs for one pound fifty and you get six in there they're really pretty I actually went into B&M to see if they've got an Easter egg so I can film it or also Valentine's but they literally had nothing, there was like four items so it wasn't worth filming for a shop with me. I do have a Select, George and Matalan order all from the sale so I'll probably do that in another video. So that's my Poundland and a Home Bargains haul and a few little other bits. I hope that you have enjoyed watching, take care of yourselves and I'll catch you in the next video which is a Home bargain shop with me I believe. So make sure you're subscribed if you don't want to miss out on that and I'll see you next time. Bye!